Good morning, Glory. Hallelujah to you, you guys. It is June 31st or is it the 30th? It's the last Sunday of June. You would think I would know before I turn on the camera exactly what day it is. Um, June 30th, but it is the last Sunday of June. I think it's the last day of June, actually. I'm a little rusty on this vlogging thing. It's been a while. I You caught me in my robe and hair bonnet. I just got out of the shower. Um, yeah, I'm a little rusty. I haven't vlogged in a while, so i just been living life, so <laughs> not a whole lot to catch you up on other than I'm just living life. That's all David and I have been doing. So, um, yeah, we're just, I'm here. David's at work, actually. Um, he left about two hours ago. He is working with Keith because Keith's parents are on vacation. They are on vacation, living it up in the sun and in the sand. So David has been helping them out, helping out with Keith while they're gone. Um, yesterday, we actually hung out and went to see Toy Story 4. Keith's aunt and uh, Keith's cousins invited us to go with them. So today, I'm going to uh, go around. I just got there doing some yoga and took a shower and now I'm about to go to the store get groceries and then I'm gonna come back and do an arts and crafts thing I have going on. I'm in the office by the way, which we haven't done anything new to. But um, I'm gonna do this arts and crafts thing. I'm gonna make a wreath for our front door. Better late than never. Um, a new wreath. I made a fall wreath and now I'm gonna make a summer wreath because spring is over. Um, and then I'm going to work on some book stuff, uh, finally get back to it. I kind of took a hiatus. The second book is out, by the way. It's called Ashes of Dreams. Ashes of Dreams, second book. It's a continuation of Fear of Flying. So, uh, you can find that on Amazon, by the way. Uh, if you have a Kindle, it's free. Um, so now I'm working on a third book, totally different story, and... It's been slow going because I did take a hiatus from writing for a while and um, kind of slowly getting back into it. So anyway, let me get dressed and put some lotion on my face. Mm -hmm. minutes into this that I did not push the record button so anyway I'm working on my wreath this is our um, spring slash summer wreath it's actually more of a summer wreath at this point because summer started like a week ago so I'm behind but better late than never I have my faux flowers from um, Dollar Tree and uh, my wreath also from Dollar Tree my glue gun my hot glue gun my hot glue gun and I do have my numbers um I'm not gonna show you my numbers because they're my address so <laughs> just know that I have them okay um yeah and I'm gonna try to do this real quick I made a wreath last year for fall and that stayed up most of fall of course um, it turned out pretty good I don't think I put that one on social media though because had our address on it so anyway um yeah uh Dave and I are not planning any big travels this year I know our channel is a lot about that um and a lot of that has to do with we made a decision at the end of last year that we were going to focus a lot more on our finances in 2019 and paying off things like um just this past week we paid off David's car and um Hopefully, we can pay off some other things as well this year. And that's a big focus for us, is to just pay those things off, take care of things. That way we have the freedom to do other things later is the main purpose of that. Um, yeah, it's, it's just to allow for financial freedom and allow us to just do more of the things we want to do later without having to worry about, did I pay that bill? I know I think I need to pay a bill. Life has been very interesting this year. We um, had some family things happen. Um, 
unfortunate family things happen. We also had some things that are at our, well, yeah, kind of out of our control happen. And you just kind of have to go with it and, and try to not, you know, get too bent out of shape about things sometimes. Um, and that's what I've been trying to do, but honey, it's not easy. So trying to maintain a sense of sanity when you feel like you keep getting like bombarded with random things that you can't do anything about and they're throwing you off your game. And um, so we've been doing our best with that. Uh, with my job, we've been in the process of transitioning over. We got bought out by a larger company. And so for the past two years, we've been transitioning stuff and you're slowly, you know, evolving. And, you know, that includes people leaving. And I'm not one that's great with change. So, you know, when you get an email saying that such and such is leaving or, you know, tomorrow's their last day or, hey, they're no longer here as of now, you're just like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, I'm not ready for this. Like, what do you, what do you mean they're not here? Like, wait a second. So, you know, I'm pretty bad when it comes to change, sudden change. So when things like that happen, it's, you know, it just throws you for a loop. And you're kind of like, what the heck? Okay, I'm going to show you the wreath without the house numbers on it. Um, this is what I have. It's going to be kind of, this is going to be the top. So this is the center. The numbers are going to be over here. So kind of going up this way. I think it'll be pretty cute. I kind of wish I had bigger numbers, but I'm not going to go buy bigger numbers. <laughs> so it is what it is. So I kind of wish I had a little spray glitter maybe, but just a little bit, but I think it'll be fine. Hey guys. <laughs> David, what's the name of your plan? Uh, what was our song? <laughs> Alright, this is Tronella and Little Mint. So this is obviously this is a mint plant. <clears throat> um, I got them because we, we have a pretty bad mosquitoes here and I thought these would help and they help absolutely none like I've, I've yeah. gotten to the point where I take a leaf and wipe it all over me and it still doesn't work so <laughs> like I'm carrying these two back and forth they don't help you guys and I still get mosquitoes landing on me so so you gotta be like in the plant for it to work I guess <laughs> we just had to get tiki torches because yeah and just spray your skin with buck spray that's about it but these smell good I mean centronella plants smell real yeah, good yeah they both smell really really good and the mint I mean you can I, um, my friend James he's the one that gave me the mint and uh, yeah you can eat them you can eat the leaves and I don't yeah. know about Centronella. I don't know if you can eat them. <laughs> I don't know about that. They both smell really good. There's David's babies. Uh, yeah, they smell good. <laughs> yeah, I try to water them. Uh, keep them in. This is the only spot in, the, in our property that that we can get enough sun, at least six hours. They're his babies. <laughs> my babies. <laughs> Those are my babies. I have my baby, the bamboo plant in the house. How long have you had that? For over, t well, since 2010, so for a while. Yeah, check this out, guys. Um, of course, we're renting our house, so this came with the house. And uh, it's pretty ugly, I say. But we have no use for it. Uh, our landlord doesn't want us to take it out. Uh, but I like to do some pull up. I was gonna hang some string, uh, some string lights from there, yeah. from here to the there, so we can hang out back here. 
We were supposed to have the centronella plants to help with that, but... I guess we gotta buy like 20 of them and build a fence of them. Or we can just get the tiki torches, or we can just yeah. spray ourselves with off. <laughs> yeah. Then we can hang out back here. Just left Bath and Body Works. They're having their semi-annual sale, and I thought, since I haven't been there in, since the holidays, um, guess I'd go today. Just got off work. We got off early, y'all. Three o'clock. Very happy about that. I got another errand or two to run and then I'm gonna be home. Which I'm happy about that, more importantly. You guys, I just won the lottery! Okay, not really. I won like 15 bucks. But I only paid two dollars. So, I guess I came up thir thirteen dollars. <laughs> That's better than nothing, huh? I just, yeah, just randomly, you know, two extra dollars in my purse. I, well, I had four dollar bills, and I said, I'm gonna use two. See if I can win a little money, a little extra cash, and I did. This is the first time in a very long time that I've won any money. I wonder if I could trick David into thinking that I won really big. No. <laughs> I'll probably start smiling and laughing and he's gonna know that I'm BSing so but yeah I want a little bit of money that's better than nothing <laughs> What'd you win? <laughs> what'd you, you want me to look at it? And, uh, are you messing with me? What, what did you win? I won the lottery. Why you got the camera? On <laughs> Trying to get my reaction. Trying to get my lame reaction. You know how I react to stuff. Um, what did you win? I had five bucks. Fifteen bucks. Fifty. Man. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm in the office right now. I want to apologize because yesterday at the gym I dropped my camera <laughs> and I pretty much messed up my camera and I most likely will have to get a new one. So um, I didn't record anything else after the gym yesterday. I uh, had some family over and we ate some food and just kind of hung out for several hours. And I did not watch one firework last night, so I went to bed. We both went to bed, so um, yeah, I didn't see any fireworks last night. Um, oh well, it is what it is. Uh, right now, I'm just uh, kind of hanging around, just did some work, social media type stuff. Um, I don't, guess you wouldn't call that work, but in a way, I, I had to focus and get it done, I guess. Um, I had other plans for today, but they kind of fell through. So <laughs> I'm just hanging out at the moment. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna do anything else really today. Uh, wait till David gets off work. And that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you thumbs it up. And if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe. No big deal, just do it. And uh, yeah. It was nice catching up with you guys, and I'll see you next time. As always, enjoy where you're at and where you be. Bye.